Hey guys, it's Steven. I just wanted to do a little video today on seed propagation. Uh, it's something ha I haven't really gotten a whole lot into. And I'm doing a little bit of an experiment. Some things that I saw online that I thought I'd give a try and I just wanted to share that with you and show you what I'm doing. Uh, one thing I'm really excited about is we went to visit my wife's grandma the other day. Uh, her grandma Wilkins. She lives on a farm in McLeod, Oklahoma. And she's been there forever. She's since the 30s, I think. And and that piece of property, that farm, has been in their family since the land run. Um, but she's been a farmer her whole life. And uh, she's in her 90s now. She just now got to the point where she can't get out to her garden. And uh, so she's a little down about that. But I remember a couple years ago when we were visiting, and we were talking about gardens and, and growing things, she mentioned uh, to always save your seeds. And, and we have been doing that. And uh, it's it's... Everybody should be saving their seeds. But um, I didn't think much of it at that time until now. And uh, now that I'm a little bit more interested in saving the genetic diversity, if you know anything about uh, different heirloom varieties, you know that today a lot of the varieties that were available 50 years ago just aren't. They don't exist anymore. Um, we have far fewer selections just because people aren't saving their seeds anymore and they're not growing local varieties. So I'm excited about this because I, I, the other day when we went over to, to visit, uh, we took our, our new baby to go uh, meet her for the first time. I asked her if she had any seeds that she has saved over the years uh, because I knew they'd be heirloom. I knew they'd be adapted to the local environment and uh, I knew that's something she did. And she did have a few left. Um, she had some parched corn not parched, some corn, um, and some okra. I don't know the varieties of those two, uh, but what I'm really excited about is uh, this bag here. This is a butter bean. She even labeled it. I don't really see that. But it says butter bean 2004. I asked her how long she's been saving these seeds. She said she's been saving them off and on for her whole life, basically, ever since she's been farming. So this is a very old heirloom variety. I'm not exactly sure which variety it is, but I believe a butter bean is the same as a lima bean. Maybe it's a baby lima bean. It's in the same, it's in that same uh, category. Uh, and all she did is stick this in a bag and she stuck it in a deep freeze. Now that's not ideal. You're, I don't think you're supposed to do that because one of the, the enemies of seeds is, as far as storage is moisture and there's a lot of moisture in a deep freezer it's ice so but I, I wanted to make this video to show you that even under non-ideal conditions some seeds can still make it over a long period of time this, these are saved in 2004 it's 2018 okay so 14 years they've been in a deep freezer um, and what I did was I, I put, I got four cups of soil, of uh, potting mix, and I put a couple beans in each cup. I'm still waiting to see on the results on that. Uh, here in the next day or so, I hope to see something pop up from the surface. But even if it doesn't, we have some success in another method that I wanted to show you. It's my first time to do this, uh, but it's a paper towel method, and it's real simple, and I wanted to show how you do it. I have one that I started two days ago. Uh, today's the 12th, it's the 9th, so three days ago. Um, but I went ahead and labeled it here, and I already have one of the seeds uh, that has sprouted, it's germinated. So I'm gonna show you that and show you how to do it, okay? Now, the germination is not gonna be great. I put a bunch of seeds in here because I knew that most of them just aren't gonna take, and so far only one has sprouted a root. Maybe a couple more will in a day or so, I don't know, but it sprouted a root within two days because it, it, it sprouted up yesterday, so it didn't take long at all. Um, but let me show you what it is. Let me open this up here, and hopefully you can see it. Okay. Very simple. All it is is a paper plate, paper towel that I've folded. Oh, I see another one. 
so you want to spray down the the paper towel with water uh, but I've got a bunch of seeds here they've been moist and they've been kept not airtight I don't zip this up all the way um, but enough to where all the moisture is going to stay in there okay but I want to show you this hopefully you can see let me just move my camera here I'll try to keep it steady Okay, right here, you can see that root sticking up there. There's one, and then, where's it at? Right here, two. So 14 years these have been in the deep freeze, and I'm still getting germination, which is pretty awesome. So we'll give it another day or two, and maybe, maybe a couple more will come up. But all I need is one plant to survive and then I can start saving seeds from that. So I'll get as many as I can going. And I'm gonna do another plate here, again, just to increase my chances and to give you guys a demonstration. Tilt this back down. Okay, so let me fold this back up real gently. set this aside for now. All you need is a paper plate. You don't even really need a paper plate. I just use it just for ease of handling, okay? Paper towel, and I just got to just fold it up here, and I fold it in force. Open it up. I'm going to take some filtered water, okay? You don't want to use chlorinated water. Uh, if you do need to use tap water that's chlorinated, just let it sit out for, I don't know if it's a few hours or however long, but it lets all the chlorine evaporate. Um, but go ahead and soak this down a little bit. It doesn't have to be drenched, but it needs to be moist. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to take a good handful of seeds. Again, the longer your seeds are waiting, uh, the less germination you're going to have. Okay. Some seeds last longer than others. Tomato seeds can last a very long time, uh, but there's other seeds that just, that your uh, germination rate is going to drop off exponentially each year. So you really need to be saving your seeds each year to make, to give you the best, op best chance of germination. So I'm just going to spread them out here. That's not perfect. Okay, spread out my seeds. And that's it, I'm just gonna fold it over, give this a soak. Okay. Got my Ziploc bag, gallon Ziploc bag. I'm gonna go ahead and label it before I put the plate in there. Butter beans. And today is the 12th, June 6th. Not June 6th, June 12th, 2018. And then I'm just going to close this most of the way, but I'm going to leave a little gap in the end. I'm not going to close this up. That way there's a little bit of air transfer, okay? What I did, I just put my plate on the top of my fridge. A little bit of warm air comes up from the back side of the fridge up, and it usually hits that, that cabinet on the top. And um, it will kind of keep it a little bit warm, but not it's not real warm. But it kind of helps seed germination, I find. So um, that is the paper towel method. Uh, check that every you know couple days. Like I said, this only took two days to have my first sprout, and day three, now I have two sprouted. So here, pretty quick, I'm going to actually put those, transplant those into a potting mix, and uh, cross my fingers, and hopefully we'll get something to take and actually grow, and uh, be continuing on that genetic diversity and these heirloom varieties of uh, plants. I think it's just so important, especially for uh, sustainability, um, being able to grow your own food 
and uh, do it non-GMO and organically and, and chemical free is just the best way to go and these heirloom varieties are great for that so I hope you learned something uh, again this is an experiment it's my first time hopefully we'll get it to take but uh, either way I think that's a, that's a success uh, first time and I do have some sprouts so I'm real excited anyways I'll try to keep you post updated on the, the progress of that and see how it goes See you guys.